Throughout my YouTube career, I've been willing to take on every single challenger that comes my way. From going up against ADCC champions like William Tackett, to people much larger than me, or YouTube favorites like Jedi Does Jiu Jitsu. But there is one name on my list that I'm missing and people always want to see. Jordan teaches Jiu Jitsu. He's another YouTuber that produces excellent content, is always showing people how to get better at the sport, and he has some pretty sneaky attacks. I recently did a seminar with him in Tobago, and we decided to do a video together to see who can win this rolling contest. Let's see how I did. The time is finally here where I'm gonna to get to roll with Jordan for everybody to see. And it starts off with him pulling guard and me working the pass. One quick caveat to this roll is that my leg is completely destroyed from a video I haven't quite shown yet, and it does impact this roll. Because once Jordan can get to the saddle, we both decide it's best not to continue fighting this leg as that's the same leg I just damaged. Instead of having any injuries happen on this mat, Jordan's nice enough just to take the top position and we continue the roll. But Jordan is quickly posing a problem for me by passing while keeping his weight back and a higher posture. It's no secret I want to go to the front headlock, so I post against his shoulder to go to standing and this is going to give me a better opportunity to get to my strengths. One takedown Jordan loves to do in his videos is the hip toss by throwing his leg all the way across. But against me, he tried to go for an Uchimata into a quick angle pick. Thankfully, this is Jiu Jitsu, so the front head is able to nullify most wrestling attacks if you can lock up over their chin. Now Jordan isn't stupid, he knows exactly what I want to go for, so he decides to pull guard instead so he doesn't have to deal with the front head and worry about the guillotine, and then he starts working on his own sweeping attacks. Now one thing that would be awesome for Jordan is if he was able to get with my own move, so he goes to the front head and I have to quickly pull out, then I attempt a guillotine pass. Unfortunately, Jordan rolled through with me and I have to get back to the front head so I'm not stuck on bottom and I'm able to wrestle my way up. Jordan absolutely does not want me to work up, so he's keeping a tight pinch over my calves. And if I can't control my own legs, how am I going to get out of here? Naturally, the crossbow is a pretty easy way to stand up, but he shucks the arm by, and he gets back control and he's able to lift me up. He immediately throws in one hook and it's a whole different ballgame from this point. That's because I know just how dangerous Jordan is when he's on somebody's back, and how it's definitely one of my weaker defending positions that I need to work on. Not wanting to be placed in one of his truck entries or just have full back control, I need to play it safe and I have to peel hooks while defending my neck. I get a quick bonk in the nose and I have to defend my cross wrist immediately before getting placed into the straitjacket system. I'm still safe enough because he only has one hook in, but he's working hard to bring that second heel over the top. What may be tough to see is that I'm bringing my fingers in trying to break his grip while bringing my shoulders slowly to the mat to turn out, but it becomes a nightmare once he throws a second hook in and I'm in trouble. One of my riskier ways how I like to escape back control is by going into the choke while sacrificing one hand to peel the hooks. I go for the same technique against Jordan trying to peel that top hook, but he comes on top so he can start to flatten me out. Now my goal has changed. I have to reestablish my base so I bring my knees to the mat and I try pummeling my feet so I can get him off of me. And just when I feel like I can peel his right hook, he decides he's going to roll me all the way over so we can prevent that and now I have to start all over again with the same back defense. Now while you guys are watching me defend my life out there with Jordan on my back, let me tell you about Transparent Labs. Transparent Labs is one of my favorite sponsors because they're always keeping me at the top of my game with their state-of-the-art supplements. My favorite one to use is either their Hydrate, so I can stay fresh throughout all the training sessions, or their Post, and I can recover quicker after training. They use the best ingredients possible without ripping you off, and let me tell you, it actually tastes good to have these supplements. So go to Transparent Labs with promo code TYLER, and you too can get bigger for the sport and feel better at the same time. Getting back into the role, Jordan's been on my back forever and I'm finally able to turn my weight out into half guard. I have no idea what Jordan's weighing these days, but I definitely felt a ton of pressure when he was on my back and hopefully I can stay out of that position. We reset in half guard as we got too close to the edge of the mat and my first thought is I need to stop his head and arms from coming too tight to my body. Since this is Jordan and I's first time rolling together, I take a much more patient approach when I'm on bottom and a little bit more aggressive when I'm top. It seems like Jordan has a similar philosophy because he's pushing the pressure, moving into mount, trying to set up his first submission. It's pretty clear that a jitsu black belt's dangerous from every single position, including Jordan. But there's one thing he always mentioned in his videos, and that's T-Rex arms. I'm a big fan of it as well. Keeping my arms tight to his hips allows me to frame against him. Then I start bringing my left ankle closer to work a mount escape, but the second I do that, he starts to work up towards an attack. This is my opportunity to bring my right knee in to go under his butt, then I use my left elbow to frame against him and come with the back door, looking to wrestle up until we run into another group. Resetting our positions, I decide I'm going to come on top, and then I quickly notice one thing. Jordan is definitely losing steam here. I'm used to rolling 9 minute rounds, so this pace isn't bad for me. But for whatever reason, I don't decide to increase the speed of this round, and I have no idea why I did this. I mean, it's so bad that I'm even caught smiling on his camera and noticing that he's tired. This is exactly when I should be jumping into the guillotine. 
Instead, I take the lazy approach and I allow Jordan to recoup some energy and as he starts to peel my wrists, I switch to the other side. But he's following me at the same time and he grabs onto my ankle hoping to get a quick trip and when I don't let him do that, he instead starts inverting as if he's going into K-Guard. He scoops up my ankle and I have to free my knee line quickly, but when I stand, he follows my hips all the way up, then pulls me back down into the mat and I start back rolling preventing the hooks from coming in. My anti-hook defense lasts about 5 seconds before he gets straight to the body triangle and now I have to work with him on my back again. He's trying to strip my cross grips as much as he can. I know he wants the submission, but he also wants to remain in a dominant position for the rest of the round. It's in his best interest from here that he doesn't incite a scramble with me. I'm doing the same escape where I go down to my knees and this time he flattens me all the way out and he starts looking for back control but I'm still pretty safe. Pay attention to how my left leg decides that it's going to shrimp inside and this clears both the hooks. Now I can bring my shoulder blades to the mat and escape his back control. Unfortunately, it happened at the same time that we ran out of time for the round. While there weren't any submissions on either side, overall we had a pretty controlled round. This was on the last day of the retreat and we'd been rolling with every single competitor that came at us. I appreciate Jordan rolling with me and next time we'll have to do a sub only to see who can get it first.